Tani. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Welcome. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Nothing much. Just focusing on content creation and college. Fab. How would you define fitness? Uh, I feel it's something that's very optional. Like some people are like obsessed with it, and yeah. some are just like you know I'm fine with my body. I'm okay. But then you know those body like standards. Yeah, I yeah. I don't like that about Fair fitness. Enough. Fair but enough. then apart from that, I feel it's a good thing to be fit. Yeah. But don't run behind that particular body that you know yeah. everybody has or everybody wants. Yeah, kind of. Think. What is something that you tell people like? people who are your age or younger mm. or older who has like body image issues and looking at pictures on the internet and being like okay that's what i want because that's the standard, standard. of beauty or whatever i feel it's difficult even i have gone through that like yeah. you see these perfect beautiful bodies and everything looks good on them yeah. but it does not go the same way for yeah. like us but again like i'll say like take one step take one step be fit not not go behind the figure yeah. i try to explain it to them yeah. and i'd say like slowly cut it down because i you can't ask a person to like stop it the correct, next day correct. right so i'd like i tell them to slowly cut it down and it is for the best that yeah. right. have you heard of like any fitness myths that turned out to be completely incorrect so i feel chloe thing i don't know if it was a myth or not but chloe thing went viral i tried it and it was too exhausting for me because yeah. i think it's for people who are like already into it yeah. but like into like the working out thing but i wasn't so it was very difficult so i i don't i don't know if it's a myth or not but yeah. it definitely did not work out for me it was very like heavy on my body and then i couldn't Fair enough. for like two days what about like i mean see with people you don't go to the gym yeah. right so what about people who don't like going to the gym too what do you think are other things that they could do so like eating healthy i yeah. i don't do that so i'm not going <laughs> but it might work it might work for other people yeah, yeah. might work for you yeah. like not me yeah <laughs> but yeah eating healthy and like engaging into activities like yeah. uh, like you know dancing or running or like i like as i started up playing a sport right now even yeah. though i'm bad at it but like yeah. you start some you start something that like gets you going yeah. i i want i want to join zumba classes yeah. so like that's dance and working out together yeah. so that is something you could have fun with fantastic thank you so much farni thank you I will take Chloe eating away. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in and sticking around. I hope you got some interesting fitness tips and tricks from Tarini. If you did, let us know, and I'll see you in the next one. Hi guys, welcome to Candid Corner. I'm Renly Ibrahim. We're gonna talk to our guest about a few things fitness. Um, he debuted in a magnum opus by Rakesh Om Prakash Mehra. Guess who the guest is, um, and then come back. Hi Hash, welcome. I am so glad to How be here. How are you doing these days? Fantastic. Yeah. What is like your um, fitness regime usually are you a person who loves going to the gym and working out well you know man it really completely depends on the film yeah. so so for like spotlight ray that you yeah. see now i wanted to i was playing an actor that had a fair amount of anxiety that he was dealing with yeah. and really was concerned about the way that he looked in his face fair. so i decided to lose a lot of weight for it yeah. because i wanted my face to really speak hmm. and then i did a film called thar yeah. with fatima and dad where i had to be a little more muscular fair. and i didn't have much time so i up my calories a lot was lifting very heavy weights i love fitness Uh, 10,000 steps a day is something I try and do every day. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. 10,000. So I have the steps app on my phone, yeah. and I track my steps. Uh, when I'm in Bombay, I track my calories. Yeah. So I eat 1,800 calories a day. I eat three meals. Yeah. Uh, so that's my map, and then around that. You have that, a certain routine. That I have a certain around. routine, and yeah. I I I lift weights thrice a week. Yeah. Uh, but I do I do walks every day. What is like a myth that you heard about fitness that you um, that you realize later is not so true? many man. You need to eat six small meals a day. You need is that to, a, is that something that people say? Yeah, like like those you know keep your metabolism going. Correct. Uh, then then even like don't have a heavy dinner. It's, it just yeah. completely depends on your goals, right? If Correct. you want to lose weight, you have to eat less calories and burn more. Yeah. And if you want to gain weight, you have to eat more calories and burn less. Correct. Correct. The breakdown of that is try and eat more protein, have a good amount of carbohydrates in there. because carbohydrates are energy yeah. uh, and they also muscle sparing so if you eat more carbs your body doesn't go into your muscle stores yeah. it uses the carbs yeah. and fats we need as men for our testosterone levels yeah. and finally what does fitness mean to you specifically a lifestyle a, a way of feeling better about yourself a positivity yeah. uh, i i'm i believe in feeling good i also believe in looking good in yeah. in, in a way where I, I'm pretty not i wouldn't say vain but i'm conscious of the way that i look in that sense yeah. so i work hard towards it you yeah. know so I'm very proud of you for these answers. Great. Well done. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope um, you learned a few things about fitness from this one. If you did, let me know. Until then, take care. I'll see you in the next one. Hi guys, welcome to Candid Corner. I'm Renly Ibrahim. My guest today already has dreams of breaking into Bollywood, but is also a fantastic creator who's already become the millennial sweetheart. Guess who she is? We're going to discuss some fitness tips and tricks with her. Hi Tanisha, welcome back. Hello. How are you? Very, very good. What's been happening with life? 
Content, personal life, full big. My life is one big drama, so yeah. it's just going, and I'm going with You're the flow. You're looking very fit. I want to tell you, how are Thank you making you. this happen? So um, I just recently started uh, dance fitness classes because I yeah. love dancing so much, and I do salsa classes as well. So I, I think that's my way of being fit by doing something I love. How yeah. do you figure this thing where like you knew that like a dance class could be a replacement for like? Working out or whatever. So I love dancing anyway, and I never actually took a dance class. So this has been in my mind forever. Might as well just do it. And yeah. then I realized, you know, over time that it's it's actually really good for you in terms of fitness. Correct. So why not just go about it this yeah, way? Fair. So I signed up for a few extra classes. That's it. Oh, fun. Yeah. Do you have you heard of like myths about like fitness and stuff like that? From um, other people who were like, oh, this is what you should do. Yeah, and stuff like yeah, that. definitely. What have you heard? In fact, okay, so a lot of my own guy friends keep telling me, you know, you girls don't understand. You all need to like pull weights, this, that, also. And I'm like, I and they're like, no, it's a myth that girls shouldn't yeah. do this. Yeah. And I'm like, but I don't care. Only I don't yeah. want to do it anyway. Yeah. I just, I just like to go about it my own way, which is yeah. dancing. Yeah, fair I enough. I mean, like the gym isn't the only place you can be fit. Like as yeah. they've also said, there's yoga, there's this, there's that. So. Why not just do what you like while being fit? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Do you have like a particular diet situation? No. No. <laughs> so clean eating is not one of the nothing. No. <laughs> Only just dance and eat. Dance and eat. Yeah, that's my life. Well done. Thank you, Tanisha. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got some interesting fitness tips and tricks from Tanisha. If you did, let us know. For more fashion tips. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.